Good morning, friends and family of the li Dirty Library. It's Miss Jahira again. <laughs> I'm making those silly faces. I always make those silly faces, which makes it difficult for sometimes to find a good picture to put as my thumbnail for the video. <laughs> Anywho, um, let's start with our welcoming song, okay? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. <laughs> okay, so I hope you like that song. I really like it. I am really um, looking forward to actually seeing more people, although we do have people coming in for appointments and for browsing. Um, so that's great. That's awesome. Um, but I do, you know, want to see more people, <laughs> more little ones, especially. Um, so today, you're going to learn something new about Ms. Jaira. When I was a little girl, more than anything, I think around age six, I fell in love with ballet. I loved it. A friend of mine invited me to her class, to her lesson, and I went and I fell head over heels in love. Um, I didn't have the means and I guess my mother didn't see the, uh, the passion that I had for it. So it, I didn't go that route, but I still love dancing. It just comes naturally to most people. Um, and today we're going to be reading about the first African-American prima ballerina or principal dancer for the American Ballet Company. And her name is Misty Copeland. We'll be reading, a, I'll be reading a book by her, but this is an uh, easy reader biography about her. You should meet Misty Copeland. So if you're interested in learning about her true life, here is a book that you might be interested in. There's other biographies by her. She also has a new book out called Bunheads, which I consider reading, except it's out, which I think is fabulous. Plus the book that I'm reading is written by her and it's called Firebird. How beautiful is that? And it received the <clears throat> Coretta Scott King Award. I don't remember which year, but it did receive it. Um, and as you can see, it is written by Misty Copeland herself, and the artist is Mr. Christopher Myers. Ballerina Misty Copeland shows a young girl how to dance like Firebird. The imprint, the printers, are G.P. Putnam's and Sons, a imprint of Penguin Group, who we do have permission to do read alouds from. Okay, so... First page. Okay. To Raven Wilkinson, who actually I learned today was Misty Copeland's mentor. The space between you and me is longer than forever. You are the sky and clouds and air. Your feet are swift as sunlight. Look at those long legs. Stretching across the skyline like the day-long sun over the horizon. Me? I am gray as rain. Heavy as nap time, low as a storm pressing on rooftops. I could never hope to leave the space between. Darling child, don't you know, you're just where I started. Let the sun shine on your face. Your beginnings just begun. I love the art. I love this artist, Christopher Myers. He does a lot of collage work, I've noticed. Mm. 
Your beginning's just begun. Before the curtain rises, before the spotlight falls. Before the fireworks of costumes, before, before it all. I was a dancer, just like you, a dreaming shooting star of a girl with work and worlds ahead. There I am, sweating at the bar. I had a thousand leaps and falls, switching worn out slippers, swift as applause. Even birds must learn to fly like me. You'll grow steady in grace, spread an arabesque of wings and climb. Each position, one through five, stair steps to the sky, that's right. I remember when I was a little girl, I took out a book on ballet in the library so I could learn the steps one through five. You will soar, become a swan, a beauty, a firebird for sure. Soon with the same practice, you'll join me in this dancing dream. In a pas de deux, a music box for two, we will wrap our hearts careful as ribbons on point shoes. We'll make the night sky our starry curtain, the moon our silver spotlight as we spin across the planets, pirouetting tightly as the curls on our heads. for new little ones we can't yet imagine. And then they will look to you and wonder, lighter than air and swift as sunlight, turning over the day and say, look how beautiful. The space between you and me is longer than forever, and I will show them that forever is not so far away. Dear reader, I was once a little girl searching for my boys, quiet, scared, unique, yet alive and vibrant. I struggled, caught among five siblings, desperate to be noticed. I never felt that I fit in, any, in anywhere, not even at home, surrounded by fam my family. My discovery of movement became my saving grace. When I was introduced to ballet, it was like finding the missing piece to my puzzle. I danced my worries and fears away. The beauty of dance is being a part of something that is all you, from creation to performance. You hold the power of your instrument. That instrument comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors. That instrument is your body, soul, and heart. That instrument is you and me. But when I opened up ballet books, I didn't see myself. I saw an image of what a ballerina should be, and she wasn't me brown with tendrils sweeping her face. I needed to find me. This book is you and me. I want to expand the idea of beauty and art. Raven Wilkinson, African-American ballerina with the Ballet Russo de Monte Carlo, and other amazing women took my hand and led me. 
Now it is my turn to lead others. This book is bringing my existence and non-existence as a young girl to life, showing other girls and boys that they're not alone. They too can find their voice, their wings, their missing piece. My hopes are that people will feel empowered to be whatever they want to be, to feel that they have no limits, just endless dreams that are reachable. No matter what that dream is, you have the power to make it come true with hard work and dedication, despite what you look like or struggle with. I hope to pave a more definitive path than the one that was there for me, but was just a little too hidden. I want to bring many with me to trace and create an even more vivid road to acceptance of yourself and from others. Join me. Sincerely yours, Misty Copeland. And that's what she looks like as Firebird. So I hope you enjoyed this book and we have lots of books about ballet, about Misty Copeland, about lots of other things that might interest you. And as Misty Copeland said in um, her note at the end, and I also say, just keep reaching for your dreams. Find what those passions are and pursue them. Okay. Bye.